Good morning, it's Tuesday, September 6, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God's Handful, and our scripture is Jeremiah's Prophecy, Chapter 19. This is what the Lord said to me, Go and buy a clay jar, then ask some of the leaders of the people and of the priests to follow you. Go out through the gate of broken pots to the garbage dump in the valley of Ben-Hinnom and give them this message. Say to them, Listen to this message from the Lord, you kings of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem. This is what the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says. I will bring a terrible disaster on this place, and the ears of those who hear about it will ring. For Israel has forsaken me and turned this valley into a place of wickedness. The people burn incense to foreign gods, idols never before acknowledged by this generation, by their ancestors, or by the kings of Judah. And they have filled this place with the blood of innocent children. They have built pagan shrines to Baal, and there they burn their sons as sacrifices to Baal. I have never commanded such a horrible deed. It never even crossed my mind to command such a thing. So beware, for the time is coming, says the Lord, when this garbage dump will no longer be called Topheth or the Valley of Ben-Hinnom, but the Valley of Slaughter. For I will upset the careful plans of Judah and Jerusalem. I will allow the people to be slaughtered by invading armies, and I will leave their dead bodies as food for the vultures and wild animals. I will reduce Jerusalem to ruins, making it a monument to their stupidity. All who pass by will be astonished and will gasp at the destruction they see there. I will see to it that your enemies lay siege to the city until all the food is gone. Then those trapped inside will eat their own sons and daughters and friends. They will be driven to utter despair. Well, Jeremiah certainly did not soften his words when he delivered God's message of doom to Jerusalem's ruling highbrows. And why should he? Jeremiah said the leaders of Judah and Israel's downward spiral away from God would have a ringing in their ears over God's judgment for gross, eyes-wide-open sin. That kind of message should never be blunted. A death sentence is a grave matter, literally. Anyone with even a small portion of decency in their soul who reads or hears these words of Jeremiah's sermon could not mistake the connection with what is happening in 21st century culture, particularly in America. We have earned the name Jeremiah said would be Ben Hinnom's new legacy, the Valley of Slaughter. Respect for life hangs by the weakest of threads in the land, Decency and modesty are up for grabs to the highest bidder in Hollywood. There's so little credence given to decorum and even kindness. We're a land of selfish entitlement, lasciviousness, and disingenuousness when it comes to even a nod towards God's sovereignty. It's surprising to me that our godless culture is still standing. Now, This is not to say there are no godly people left on our planet. The Lord always has a remnant who will serve him well. That said, we must recognize that the days of Noah are upon us. Those who faithfully serve God's will are in a pitiful minority. There is coming a time, perhaps in my lifetime, perhaps in the next generation, but certainly a time of God's own choosing, that the bill for thumbing America's collective nose at God's laws from the bedroom to the boardroom and the big screen will come due. The bankruptcy of our unrighteousness will be upon us. For you today... If you'll serve God's bidding these days, you'll be branded a throwback to Queen Victoria's Day, a prude or a do-gooder. Well, if you get labeled that way, wear it well. God's handful of a remnant are the apple of his eye. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.